Beating my remote control around on my on me. Oh, that's a good fish. That one got eggs. I like that. So all of them haven't spawned it, and we we know that they spawned at different times. They all don't spawn at the same time. All right. All right, guys. There's a grenade bug, fathead. This fathead has been a great bait now. I was throwing another bait at this school. I'm making two videos at one time. Y'all know how I do that. And this is one of the reasons I do it. I caught a couple out of that school and they quit on me. It was like six or eight crappy. And they wouldn't even pay attention to the other bait. I switched to the fat head and caught one the first cast. Right here they are. They're at 18 foot. So, there you go. There's another tip for you. When you... Now, you know, you hear me say throw a different color. If you catch a couple of fish out of a school and they quit on you, throw a different color. But try a different body shape, too. They're sucking down to the bottom now. That might be a sign that I've spooked them. I'm trying to be quiet as I can, you know, as I move around the boat. But look, all, all that noise you make when you move around the boat, they can hear it, guys. You know the old saying your dad used to say? Be quiet when you're out fishing. Lascope has taught us that there's so much truth to that. I just laid my rod down before to switch to another rod, be a school like that. Look up and they're gone. Bam. That's a good one. That's a good fish. All right, guys, I'm just running around in this cove in circles. <laughs> The fish are moving. They're chasing shad this morning. I caught them this morning. I haven't been getting out in the mornings because I've been doing other stuff. So this is the first time. And it's supposed to get windy later today. So I thought, I better get out early this morning. You know what? I got the hook out of him. Then I got the hook back in him. <laughs> you don't ever do that. <laughs> it's stupid. I've done it. There you go. That's a nice fish there, guys. That's Grenada Bug. Fairhead Man. I got him on a size 6. 132nd ounce jig head. Okay, it's a size six. If you look on my site, if y'all new to Lake Country Baits, I have size eights, which is small. I actually have size tens too. I got size tens, which is very small. They're for, uh, they're for the uh, mini shad, LC shad. Size sixes, size uh, eights. Eights is small, then a size six. This is a six. Eights is for the bug. You could use eight on this too. Uh, and then I have. Uh, Fours. Fours is for the LC Shad Fluke. Okay, you use it, uh, the Chaos 2. If the Chaos, uh, the big Chaos, you could use a size 2 in it. Now, I know a lot of y'all guys use 2s. I see guys fishing on YouTube that use 2s, even in a small bait, and it comes out almost at the back of the bait. And that's fine. If that's what you're doing, you like doing that. Uh, I like to match my hook size to my to my jig size, to my plastic jig size. Bam. That right, guy's have been a while. This don't feel that big. Yeah, he's decent. I've been about half an hour. I tell you, they're, like I said, they're running around in schools. Once in a while, I see it. Two or three together. I, I can't catch any of those. I throw at them. They just run from the bank and move. A little spooky, which we got some boat traffic coming through here, so that's probably causing some of it, the reason they're spooky. I look for my... You know, I said this yesterday. I'm the only one on the boat, and I can't keep up with the plars. I got two pairs of them. They might be in my back pocket. <laughs> there will be the last place I look, I promise you. Oh, come on, front, so I'm going to get this hook out of there. Wow. And this is what I said a while ago. If you get that hook in them, it's small. But if you get it in them, wow. And it goes all the Thank you. I know a fish tastes like raw. He'll fool you. He's right at 10 inches. Uh, I miss chasing schools and throwing at them. Some of them look bigger in the school. 
but whichever one bites, they bite. Yeah. There you go, guys. There's my plower's name right here. If there's a bass tournament going on, there is today. Uh, I read this yesterday. I think Randy Blanket was talking about it. He said, <laughs> bass fishermen have no e uh, boat etiquette. They'll run over you. He was far enough out there. He was probably 70 feet. But uh, I'd rather for somebody to come by me like that, wouldn't you? They'd just come on. Then they would plow. And that's what he said. I agree. Somebody that slows down and tries to go like 25, 30 mile an hour, and the boat's jacked up in the front. Well, they're, they're causing more wake than the one that goes on. If he goes on like that, I'd have seen him do that, and I would go by slow. But when there's a bass tournament going on, you got to expect that. You, <laughs> you will have some boats running around, ain't you? Bam. Good one. No fatheads catching some decent fish in it. I was going to give an Ada bug color. See why I netted him? He was barely hooked in the stem part. If you see it, you got him hooked good, you can fling him in the boat. But when you got a, if you got a small hook, and if it's not all the way through good, you could lose him. Even a size two hook, you lose some, don't you? That's a good fish, there, guys. All right, that's a good one to end on this fathead. There you go, guys. Fathead minute, grenade bug. I just picked a Grenada bug up. It was already on my rod. <laughs> Some people say, why would you pick the Grenada bug? It's good anytime, guys. Grenada bug and creamy, you know. I made it for the uh, Lake Grenada. And uh, Sid fished it up there. Caught some two-pound fish on it on the, in the LC shad. And uh, we, did, we decided it was how uh, good a color it was, how well it was doing. And people have commented back to me, hey, my lake, my water's pretty clear. The Grenada bug and creamy is working good here. So we have found out that it works about any time. Hey guys, Fish and Lake Country. Appreciate y'all watching. We appreciate you being part of the channel. Comment, like. See you next time.